Does it seem like we seem to get a lot more sleep than we ever used to? It does seem like it, though. Yeah, I can't understand why. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Hello, I am... Meat sweats in a cellar. (laughs) And I'm Milam Chillum. How you doing? (laughs) Welcome back into Delirium for a fresh slice of movie madness from Delirium. Indeed. I, that, that kind of got away with me, I, from me, I'm afraid. Uh, we seem to have a, an abundance of, of... Of cushions. We yeah. do. Yes. But I think that one, uh-huh. that one has got somewhere else to be. I believe it does, doesn't it? Yes, but that's next month. We'll be doing our competition. If you hadn't seen last month's show, then we'll be putting that as a prize on a competition for Christmas. Uh, Just make sure that you're not in the States, because that's going to be an extra 20%. We'll be sitting on a beach earning 20%. Oof. (laughs) Thank you for joining us again. Always wonderful to see you. Uh, My name is Max. Oh, my name really is Sam. And... What do we do? Oh, yeah. See, you don't wake us up when we're asleep. You just wait. Do you think they're spying on us now? They must be reporting to the masters. There's <laughs> masters? <laughs> of course there are. There's always masters. Before we begin, mm. we just have the business of our poll from last month. Oh, yes, the poll. If you were with us last month, then you'll know that we were looking at pumpkin... Pumpkin face? Pumpkin head and... Uh, screen, which became Pumpkin Face and Ghost Head. Yes. And if you were with us last month, you'll also know that we uh, managed to break one. Oh, yeah, we did. Quite quite big, quite a big way. Quite a big way. Yes, we did. Because Ghost Head was the only complete movie that we managed to create. So that one was either yes or no that it was a maybe movie. And if you were feeling particularly masochistic, you could also vote for the broken Pumpkin Face as well. We both went that yes, Ghost Head should be maybe a movie uh from the poll we had pumpkin face got two votes okay ghost head not being a maybe movie got two votes okay we had three that ghost head is a maybe movie okay so five to two to two but somebody out there actually liked two people (laughs) pumpkin pumpkin face um okay okay you weird, weird person, you. Exactly. Maybe they just thought that they could see they could see an opportunity to fix it in post. Maybe. Indeed. <laughs> Who knows? Thank you very much. Um, so, Ghost Head is a maybe movie and will be here with a fanfare as always. Thank you to everyone who voted and obviously please get ready to jump in and vote on this month's poll to see whether or not what we're about to fashion for your delectation should or shouldn't be a maybe movie. Indeed, so check it out, folks. And what are we doing? Uh, You know what, I'm not sure. 
Mm, okay, good thing, because I am. <laughs> oh, good. Somebody yes. has an idea. Good, I do. good. Well, actually, I don't have an idea. Oh. So this is another request. It is another request. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going into evil. I am the lord of evil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, forget that. That never happened. It's just between. This is what happens when I'm sleeping too much. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, sorry, this is a request from my good friend Rob Berry, who suggested, or rather, didn't so much suggest, who speculated on the idea that what would happen if the Cannonball Run... Okay, yeah, okay. ...were invaded by... <laughs> somebody in need of some new eyes. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, somebody who has too much time on their hands. Yes. We have the Cannon Run Ball Run from 1984. And Stupid Scrapers from 2001. Should probably say at this point, because we're doing the Cannon Ball Run, I think this episode will have to be marked not safe for woke. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was acceptable in the 80s. Although I do find it hilarious that Jackie Chan is supposed to be on the Japanese team mm. and this one was made by Golden Harvest. Yes. <laughs> Jackie Chan was playing Jackie Chan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> His character is called Jackie Chan. This is so, ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So this... Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I uh, I never knew that movie was 1984. I, I honestly thought it was like 79, 1980. It's got a 70s feel to it, it in does. a lot of ways. It does. But then again, I suppose, I don't know what... Because yeah, it was Golden Harvest. I don't know how much stuff they were getting from the rest of the world. So possibly to them, those kind of 70s sensibilities were still possibly quite current. That's true. It's a possibility, yeah. I mean, obviously, I know we don't need to worry too much because this is going to be a straight up mashup. We don't need to worry too much about acts, mm-hmm. but there are similar lengths. There's about six minutes in it. So. Yeah. Do you do you want to look at acts? Can do. Just sort of very simply. I mean, I put, yeah, sure. I mean, I put down Cannibal Run. Kind of the first act ends when the race starts. Yep. Then I put the second act ends when there's the roadblock. Which roadblock? The roadblock or the road road works? Ah, uh, yes. I wasn't sure. It was either or. I wasn't sure whether it was the roadblock or the roadworks. Right. I I had it after a little bit after the roadblock itself. Mm-hmm. It's the bit I, I might have simply marked it a bit exploding car. Actually, I think it was a van that exploded. Oh, that tries to run and that then tried yes. to run the blockade. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because then everything after that is after they've passed the roadblock. Yes, that makes sense. Cool. And for Jeepers Creepers, I put when Darry finds the body down the hole but then that's only half an hour in and I think it was after they when they drive away from the church was the end of act one. Oh, right, yeah is that's that's when they go to the diner isn't it uh, yes yeah, yeah 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 I put for act two wings yeah that's exactly what mine is called <laughs> really? as well yes fantastic so that's that's nice and simple yeah I think the biggest problem with this one there's, there's two uh-huh. the first one is and it's a problem with, with the cannonball run mm-hmm because everything builds up like a film up until the race. And then after that, essentially what you've got is a sketch show in movie form. More or less, yeah. I mean, there are sketches and then there are montages, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just not sure how much of that we're going to be able to keep with, with what we're doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that's the thing, though. I mean, what kind of movie are we making here? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, because uh, the other thing is, I'm assuming we are including Derry and Trish in in this. Well, I oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Normally we would, but I'm really struggling to think of how they're going to fit into the story of the Cannonball Run. We can, unless they're exposition machines. See, part of me thinks we will have to, because otherwise, what we'll end up what we'll end up doing is we'll say, "Well, no, we won't." Which means that we can then bring the creeper in as uh, kind of like as like a left field thing, but then that's not going to be until Act Two, and that means then we, don't, we, we get that's another one that we've done where we don't do anything in Act One, especially as we've called the end of Act One, the start of the race, so we won't see the creeper until Act Two. Uh, okay. What we could do is truncate obviously some of the stuff from Act One from the Cannonball Run, intersperse that with 
the scenes with Derry and Trish. So we introduce the creeper earlier. Mm-hmm. And so we get, again, a truncated version of them going down the hole and things like that. And then possibly to bring them in, the diner that they go to is a pit stop for the people in the Cannonball Run. Okay. Oh, this is such a weird film already. <laughs> I'd also suggest uh, if we keep... Farrah Fawcett out of the ambulance a bit longer or we have we set something up where she they, they lose her if you like so they grab one of the kids to be the patient okay yeah okay that could work yeah I mean Farrah Fawcett is just there to look pretty anyway she doesn't have any real bearing on the plot and just some very strange ideas about trees yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you know that whole thing is real the cannonball run is a real oh race. yeah yes yeah um, and um, not all of the teams are based on real people, but uh, w- one of the teams that competed uh, actually did disguise themselves as an ambulance oh, fantastic. to avoid speed traps and stuff. Which does kind of bring me on to the other thing I think that we need to kind of decide on bef- uh, before we start. Him. 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 Captain Chaos! Oh, right, him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, okay, yes, about Captain Chaos. <laughs> yes. Are we, uh, I take it we are keeping him? I, he sort of comes packaged with the character, doesn't okay. he? Okay. He's even got an origin story. <laughs> yes, he does, he does, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, take a little bit of the heart out of Dom DeLuise's character, if we did that. We did, yeah, we did. I can see how this could oh. play into things. I'm, I hope you got some ideas, because <laughs> I see complete dark chaos. We are under, under starter's orders, so by the sounds of it already. Yeah. And again, th- I mean, so, th- so the beginning... Because again, there is. There is uh, sorry, mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about three different things at once and trying to talk about them all at the same time. This this happens quite a lot. You might have noticed. Because <laughs> there are some moments of kind of like black comedy in Jeepers Creepers. We just kind of dial those up a little bit. These go to eleven to try and bring them in line with with, with the Cannibal Run. So I think our Act One again, as I said, is a truncated version of the Act One of Cannibal Run. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we do with that though is we throw in again, especially in those early points. We throw in Derry and Trish travelling. They're in a car, so people will just think, oh, there must be other races. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I see what you mean. I'm trying to picture it. So we're basically doing a shortened version of the first act of Jeepers Creepers, interspersed into the montage of everybody. Because it's Meet the Cast. That first act is, in it's... Cannibal Run, it's just Meet the Cast. Exactly. exactly. Really, it's a very extended Meet the Cast session. Yeah. I mean, my other thought about it was that they're actually... But again, I couldn't quite figure out how how to make it work. Was they were working with somebody that was in the race and they were like trying to get ahead down the road or something. But that's about as far as it went. I couldn't quite dot the I's and cross the T's with it as to how they would, you know. It was supposed to be something like, all right, they get the thing, they stamp the thing, or whoever stamps the thing when they leave and then mm-hmm. they somehow get it to them further down the race. So, but I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> mm. And it also wouldn't make any sense because it's not the same No, I think it works or... better if it's a left field. Yeah. Just careen into JJ's lives. Mm-hmm. I think that works better. Yes. Because the audience will be like, you know, at first it'd be like you say, it'd be interspersed with driving scenes so it looks like it's a normal part of the setup. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, when they start looking at things and go down the hole and stuff, and like, oh, what the hell? And then suddenly that storyline smacks into JJ. Yes. I think that's where we're going to go with this, isn't it? Because JJ really is... The main character, absolutely. Even though it is an ensemble cast, that you know, it's very clear that JJ's story is the main one. Definitely. Yeah, are we happy with that? I think so. I, I'm I'm happy with that. Again, we tend to do this a lot with, with, with as we do this now. Is we kind of skirt around Act One. That that kind of give that kind of gets us up. Some, to speed. Sometimes there's nothing to fix. No, exactly. Sometimes exactly. it's just a spot here, a spot there, and we move on. Mm-hmm. And uh, it happens a lot with first acts for some reason. Fantastic. Uh, that... um, I mean, wait, I mean, just before we call it, are there any little details that you want to add in to the first act to try and make things a little more seamless? Or do we just leave it as it is, like we just discussed? Um... So, okay, okay, okay. Well, so, like, like what... you were saying there's, like, there's some dark humour and things like that. There's a lot of bickering in their early driving scenes. So maybe we, we make that a little funnier with, like, like some actual jokes in there. That, that works. That or works it, in the film, it's good-natured bickering, but you could elevate that to a comedy routine. Of course you could. Like, yeah, uh, you know, like, because remember... their brother and sister is that established relationship and they could fall into personalities and have a banter or something that could... Which would be perfect, which we would probably have to do anyway because a lot of the humour is more applicable to the early noughties. 
as yeah. opposed to the early eight or the mid eighties. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just those slight changes there would be. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Yeah. The only other thing to consider as well is they all gather at the um, at the motel for the start of the race, but the start of the race is at night, mm-hmm. and they're only in that area around the old church for that afternoon. So, do we want to cheek that to later in the day? Yeah. So that they end up when they go back, it's getting dark, and then obviously Derry falls goes down, he falls down, and then get, makes his way out. So it's night by the time they leave. Yeah. So that they're all on a consecutive timeline. Yes. Yeah. Good point. I had. I. I. I would have missed that. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic. But that's us done with Act One, isn't it? It is us done with Act One. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So start of the race. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. We've got a montage of the start happening, mm-hmm. which is something that we don't need to fiddle with at all. And then we get Doctor Van Helsing on the scene. <laughs> the last minute being introduced yes and then it's very shortly afterwards that they would be picking up Pamela Mm -hmm. and this is where we agreed that we would have the kids get involved in the story yes because they where do they pick her up again Uh, there'd been some sort of crash oh that's right and they leave Mr. Hoyt Mr. Hoyt or Phil Hoyt isn't it yeah they leave him behind and they grab her so we're saying that the crash involves Derry and Trish? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking yep. we just replace one crash with another. I mean... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why do we no, have no, a problem? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. God, I thought you were going to say there's a problem. We've no, broken it no, already. No no, 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 no. I was looking at something thinking... I thought something that I'd written down there referred to something else. That's fine. Because the other thing, how we could have done it, is when they get the phone call. Yeah, hello. Have you seen the cats yet? Yeah. She says something that directs them to join them. Mm, well... Part of my problem is, is that part at that point in the story, oh, I don't know. I mean, they're not prepared to believe her, are they, at that no, point that's in the true. story? that's true. I mean, are, are we going to lose her in this? Because obviously they're going to be travelling a lot further than just across the state. Depends where we put Jezebel. She could be anywhere along the route. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, didn't think about that. So when they get to the crash, they pick up... Derry and to pick them both up. I know. At first, I was thinking just pick up Trish, but well, no. The problem, the problem is, is that I, I was thinking we wouldn't because it sounds like the inside of the ambulance would get a bit crowded. But I feel like we kind of need Derry, otherwise we have to change some fundamentals about the story. I don't know. If we abandon Derry, our movie ends quite abruptly. So I think we have to. Unless he gets picked up by somebody else. Hmm. Mm. Hey, they took my sister. Hmm. So oh. So we. Oh, just... have a have a star. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who do we put him with? Well, that's the thing. We're, uh, we can't put him with Dean Martin and... Sammy Davis. Yeah, because they're, uh, they're in a Ferrari. Of course, two seats. Yeah. And likewise, we can't put him with... The girls in the Lamborghini. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And obviously, you can't go with the guy on the bike. There isn't space. Is there space in the Subaru? Possibly. We no, no, it looks kind of cramped in there. I'm not sure. I don't know. So the other one is, is it Mad Dog in the um, in the pickup? Is that the New York dude or is that the good old boys? JJ at one point refers to him as Mad Dog. Where the hookers? What? It's the black guy and his mate. The black guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the New the Yorker. Pickup. Yeah. yeah. In, the, um, in the pickup truck. Because the good old boys are in the van that blows up, isn't it? Excuse me, gentlemen. Are you the good old boys? Yeah, that's right. So we could put him with them. The other thing is, if we want to slightly break things, we put him with the guy on the motorbike. Then obviously we lose the thing with the big wheelie across the country. Hmm. But that's quick enough to catch up with the others. Huh. I, I must admit, I prefer, I like the idea of putting him with the mad dog. I think... Because he is a bit crazy. Well, let me make one thing perfectly clear. And yeah. So yeah, jump in the back. And then they zoom off and he's like, oh, rolling around in the back of this open top thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go with Mad Dog. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Because the other thing that we can bring into this as we move on with with, with, with Act Two, there's no reason why the, uh, why the why the creeper might not sniff out something else he likes mm? on the races. Yeah. That sounded like a garage door. Garage door. That sounded like a garage door somewhere out there in the void. Who knows? Who knows or dares to dream? I don't. I definitely don't. <laughs> They pick them up. We'll get Doctor Van Helsing to uh, to give her a shot or give her some gas or whatever. Then we have some stuff with the other plate, uh, rather the racers. The girls getting pulled over for the first time. This guys in the Subaru turning on their infrared at night. So what we should have then? Just uh, pick up, pick up Trish. Off they go. There he gets picked up by Mad Dog. They all go. They all go off. Mister Foyt comes round because obviously Farrah Force is still with him. Mm-hmm. All right, we need to get after them. They jump in their car, and as he's backing the car out. <laughs> Oh, boom, gets sideswiped by the creeper chasing after them. Mm. 
and just spins spun the car down, out. Yeah. yeah, spun out. Yeah, yep. nice. Kidna- yeah, kidnapped in cops. That's what I've got here. Are we going to say that's going to go much different? Well, she's still going to be gassed up, isn't she? So, mm-hmm. well, it'd be a little bit different because obviously Trish is going to be more resistant than Pamela is. Mm-hmm. Trish is like, I've been kidnapped, but she's saying it while she's off a tree on on nitrous oxide. So. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just as you say, though, it might be a slightly longer scene, a slightly different, because they might have to talk their way out of it a bit more. Yes. Yeah, I think they'll have to talk their way out of it a little bit more, but more or less it'll go the same. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then we want to cut really oh, no, to... Hang on a minute. Um, you know, there is something we can do with this as we've kind of set it in motion now. Mm-hmm. Every time the creeper catches up with whoever Derry is with and does something to them, he then has to get into another car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's where that's our, that's our through line for this. Yeah. And it's at what point does he realise that it's focusing on him and not her? So we'll have to throw in just a couple of moments where they're kind of in similar areas. Mm-hmm. So we could so we could cheek into the audience that it could be either or. Well, I was thinking um, maybe when they get pulled over, like they'll be pulled over, and in the background you start seeing the cars coming past. But of course, Trish doesn't see anything. Mm-hmm. She's probably even been trying to say when people when she got drugs. No, but Trish will recognise the truck following. The bee, bee eating you truck. We're allowing then her to get out. She'll have to get out of the ambulance because obviously Pamela never does. No, and the scene, mm-hmm. they open the side door of the van. Mm-hmm. So at the side door of the van's looking out onto the road. As the patient, she's lying there looking out. So we'll just swap the other end because they're on the curb side, aren't they, When in the film? When they oh, right. This, they're yeah, on the yeah, 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 yeah. So we we'll have, have to swap, swap it. Swap the, yeah, swap the shot. So can see, yeah. But that's not because movie. That's just a, a shot swap. And so she's, again, guest up going, beating you, beating you. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, love. She's really, yeah, she's really in trouble. All right, so you've got a violent patient on your hands. No wonder you've got her tied down or whatever. <laughs> no, no, she just means she's a real winner. Yeah, that's it. How do we want them then to take out? I suppose with well, that thing is pretty is is van. So just tailgate straight into the back of Mad Dog. I mean, obviously he's got, a, but again, he's got a huge pickup, hasn't he? I mean, at this point, we're about forty-five minutes in the movie. We need. We need something to happen. We need some action. Yes. And we're not going to get the cops being killed, which is, that is, that's this point in the story. Yeah. It's right, it'll, it'll be attacking Mad Dog's truck. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, that's that's what needs to happen. What we'll need to do is then we'll have to say, tax Mad Dog's truck, that causes a few of the car, a few of the racers who are all together, a couple of them will go off the road mm-hmm. to try and avoid him, so that A, we're giving an opportunity for Derry to get into another car. Oh, okay, yeah, good call. And B... It means that when JJ and I've forgotten Don DeLuise's character's name. Uh, Vincent? That's it. Victor, sorry. Victor, they can catch up, you know, reasonably quickly. Yeah. After, after being stopped by the cops. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, obviously, at some point he's going to have to get into the Aston Martin. Oh, of course he is. Of course he is. Well, as it's going to get blown up anyway, let's say he jumps in with the Rednecks. It's the next most logical vehicle because it's got the most space. Mm-hmm. After that, it's Seymour's car. And yeah. then after that, you start getting increasingly unlikely. Exactly. Well, hopefully by that point, it will be the only other one that you can go in, which is the ambulance. Mm-hmm. Mad Dog just run off the road. Creeper comes out and starts sniffing around the truck. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming then we're going to lose either Mad Dog or his mate here. Oh, absolutely. Do we want to lose both of them or just one of them? Dealer's choice. I don't think it matters at this point because we're effectively taking them out of the race. So they're not going to be playing a further role in the film. So it's very much dealer's choice on who survives. So I think his, I think his co-pilot gets killed first mm-hmm. and then it's Mad Dog putting up more of a fight that gives Derry the chance to jump into the back of the truck. Get in the back of the van! Okay, yeah, that works. And they zoom off. Well, they zoom off, right, okay. Next in the, the original plot is the bit when they block the uh, fight in the telephone box and then we have another montage of the various groups traveling that's right and then we have the bit when the priest's going pull over we want to bless you okay so if we want to then when we get to that pit stop or to the garage where they again block him in the thing do we want then that to be the first phone call uh, yeah yeah so Derry gets there for no no because jj would have got past them again so they've already stopped and gone when the rednecks get there and that's how we can then layer in that Derry finds out that yeah they've still got her and they've they've, they've already headed off so he needs to keep going. Uh, yeah. The only thing I suppose we haven't done is given a reason why he gets in the back of the van. Possibly they see the the, the, the rednecks see what's happened to the other two. Yeah. And they say to him, "Come on, get in!" Just out of panic. Yeah. You want that's a ride, sir? Yeah. Remember, they're blasted out of their brains on beer and stuff. Oh, yeah, so when they see this guy gets his head pulled off. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, you want to hop in the back, son? You need ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, yes, of course it should. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's it's just you. that laid back, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just seeing somebody's head pulled off. Yeah, passing worse down the farm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fantastic. Okay, where are we? Montage? Yes, little montage, yeah, so... And then and then it's the bit with the priest trying to Bond pull over three. for a blessing. That's it, yes. Because, yeah, they try and get into the... They try and bless her, don't they? So what are we doing with Trish? Because obviously by this point she's conscious again, isn't she? Mm. Well, we're not making the same movie, are we? So no, I think it's, you know, you know, you need to let me... I need to go and get my brother, you know. Oh, well, we left him states back. Yeah, but you don't understand, you don't understand. <laughs> Shoots her up with something. Ah, uh, right, <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just out again. Yeah, I think that's the way we stop the movie from stopping abruptly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. Take and it. Oh, thank you. But that's also really nice because we can throw... That throws in some tension because he's listening. <laughs> yeah. So Victor's like, well, maybe we... You know, she sounds really sincere. We should do something. Yep. Nope. We're in the race. Yes. We're, you know, it's state to... Again, we've passed that state to go. We don't worry about that. When we get to the end of the race, then we can look into it. Something like that from JJ. Uh, okay. Uh, now we've got... What's next is the major sequence with Killer Commie Guy. Oh, God. Zod. Badass, hard-ass policeman. Yes. Uh, which I think we should uh, use as an opportunity to get a gratuitous kill on a cop. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of cop deaths in the original film, and we're going to lose a lot of that in this one, so I'd like to get at least one decent cop death in Of there. course we are. Yeah, because that's the one thing with this film. There's, you know, there's a lot of cops pulling people over, but it's not like... It's not like Smoking the Bandit, where there's cop chases. No, there's, there's hardly any. There, there's, apart from the one in the opening credits, there aren't very many chases. Good point, actually. I always used to think that the Cannibal Run and Smoking the Bandit are of a type. Mm. But actually, you're right, they've got a lot of differences, now I think about it. It's like, I think there might be, it's been a long time since I've seen it, because the other one that came out around the same time was the Gumball Rally. And I think there might be more in there. Ah, uh, yeah, the Gumball Rally, which was basically the poor man's Cannibal Run. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay, well, well, while you're thinking about that, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to talk to those lovely people over there. Okay, you do that. And I'm going to say, hello. It's it's just us here now. Do you need help? Blink once for yes, twice for no. I do. Uh, Sorry, yes. To the point I was trying to make. Yeah, just going to do a very quick shout out. And this one is for some old, old friends. And recently, well, did their celebration for their ninth... Halloween on the platform. Oh, lovely. Which is for the management from Newcastle After Dark. If you've never seen this channel, it's absolutely fantastic. They curate, in their words, a lost treasure in cinema. Lots of really old, forgotten, predominantly horror films, obviously, with a name like Newcastle After Dark. A lot of American stuff, a lot of British stuff as well, so like old hammers, old amicus, things like that. Yeah, so it's fantastic. Just grab yourself a steaming brew, because they always have a pint. Oh, Uh, excellent. Yeah, they curate with a pint, and I think one of them smokes a cigar, and the other one smokes a cigarette. Okay. So, proper sticking it to the man. (laughs) (laughs) So, do check it out. Uh, Newcastle After Dark, they post up every month, and... As always, guys, thank you for all of your support and thank you for the shout-out recently as well. Oh, yes, thank you so much for that. We have the bit where JJ comes around, speaks to the cop, the cop goes to pull them over. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the killer comic cop. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sorry, yes. Cop goes to stop the the Ferrari. Because this guy is such a hard-ass, I think he'll... We'll have him pull over the Ferrari, Mm -hmm. be eating you, we'll just ghost past at 95... Yeah. And it'll just be that, oh, you don't, not in my county. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yep. Is that so a star? What? No, that's not a star. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a star. I think that's that's just normal. That's just plotting. part of the thing. Yeah, that's yeah. part of the, the routine. So we get what's what the start of what happens in the movie, but yes. then in the middle of it, be eating you just breezes past and our guy is so outraged he just has to chase him. He goes after the, yeah, so he goes and jumps in, at which point you get Sammy Davis shoot and you're going, thank God. Yes. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. And then they zoom off. Oh, that would be nice. They zoom off because they're obviously going in the same direction. And they're in a Ferrari. Mm-hmm. So they pass beating you mm-hmm. as they're going past. And they're like, thank you. And they get a look inside the cab. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to have a scene of the yeah. genuflecting. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. In it, in it, just floor it. Yeah. And then you get the cop come zooming up behind them. What, how, what do you think? Just... He slams on the brakes. Cop goes straight into the back of him. Oh, he could. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, mm. do you want him to get pulled over? No, I don't want him to get pulled over. I want him to attack the cop car, like in the film. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, I you know, see. decapitation. So, what about because he's still speeding? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not thinking this clearly, am I? No, you're right. You're right. No, it needs to be something traffic related. 
because we're about to have a big moment anyway. Got it, got it, got it. We've been adding something into it, but I think it'll work. Okay. So, Ferrari comes up alongside, we get the bit with that. They zoom off ahead. There, he's, he's um, chasing them down. Up ahead of them, mm-hmm. level crossing. Big, massive, long train coming. Mm-hmm. So the Ferrari gets across before the train comes through, so he has to stop. Ah, uh, so the cop does get to pull him over, sort of. Yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So we still get our decapitation? So we still get our decapitation. Nice. So he slams on the brakes, handbrake turns it, mm-hmm. so he's side onto the cops and the cop pulls up. So, a bit wary, gets out. But as he's got out, the creeper's got out the other side. Mm-hmm. So when he goes up to the truck, there's nobody in it. Yeah, okay. And then he appears over the top. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, take it. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, that's a lovely little put uh, put together scene. Well, you know, we might have a moment coming up because what's next is, is the, the roadblock, roadblock, and that's everybody stopped. Everybody except the dudes in the Subaru because they end up in New Mexico. Of course. So we'll come back to Jackie later. Obviously, our guys are piggybacking on the back of that uh, that uh, that uh, of trailer. So we might have to advance our timeline slightly because this would be the, obviously the optimum moment to put. Derry and Trish back together. No, no, no. Let's start with that because this is a long sequence at yeah. the roadblock. This and whatever happens is going to be big. She's <laughs> big, big. So it's going to be a big moment, one way or another. Because this is where we lose the rednecks as well, isn't it? It's where we lose the rednecks. So we've got a natural point yes. for certain things to occur, but also we need to get them back together because, uh, we. To be honest, I think we need a little bit of exposition. Absolutely, because we've not. So ah, uh, this is where we bring Jezebel in. Yeah. Because we're going to lose her because the car's going to keep moving. Mm-hmm. We need a point when they're stopped. Yeah. And this is one of the biggest points that they're stopped. It is, absolutely. It's that and the roadworks. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we could do the roadworks. Roadworks are halfway through Act 3, though. Yeah, exactly. So I think, no, I think you're right. I think we do this here. So I think we put Jezebel in here. Oh, okay. Giselle, sorry. Whatever. Giselle, that's Giselle, yeah. sorry. Not Jezebel. Um, <laughs> it's just they call her Jez, don't they? So yeah, they Jez, do, yeah. Jezebel, so gonna... I mean, Because I was thinking at one point, do we get her suddenly, her voice comes over the um, uh, the CB on the uh, uh, in the ambulance. <laughs> just does a bit of a weird thing. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? It's, it fits in with the milieu of the film, you know? Because yeah. there's that conversation they were having with the, the trackers coming up to the roadblock and everything. So and she gets a, G- a Jack Elam on the other end. <laughs> yeah. And so she could start off being on the radio, mm-hmm. and then after they've been at the stop a little bit, yeah. she turns up. Because she knows where they are because of the chatter on the radio. Yes. Because they're not going to be at a police station for her to find them. No, exactly. It's either that or the roadblock and uh, the roadworks, and I think that road ro- roadworks are too late in the movie. Fantastic. Because she stops the movie for five minutes with exposition. She does. So now would be the time to do that. Who else do we want to be witness to to that exposition? JJ. Um, Victor. Victor. And presumably the doctor. Who's probably just. Um, who's probably. Well, no, I, I imagine he'd be probably offering to examine Giselle for her <laughs> various listed problems. Yes. You want <laughs> yeah. Again, I must admit, that's another thing watching that film now as an adult was something that I never picked up on. Oh, there, was, there were elements of it that I definitely missed as a child, yeah. Well, just when he said he was a proctologist, and obviously I, then I didn't know what a proctologist was. And it's just... <laughs> then the finger. The finger like, all the time. Oh, yeah. Christ, now I you understand. Need the finger. <laughs> yeah, no, I did not get that as a kid. <laughs> I just thought he was a funny... I thought he was a funny drunk guy, and that yeah, was it. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry, getting distracted. Okay. No, no, no problem at all. So we've got, you know, the kids reunited, Giselle turns up, we stop for some exposition. So while we're doing that, if JJ picks up on some of that exposition as well, we can then throw in here, it's a threat to his chances to win, so he tries to replace them with Pamela, because they're at the same place, aren't they? Uh-huh, why are we doing this? To throw in a bit of tension. Oh, okay. Oh, like, you, oh, you're bad luck, you've got to get out of my... Yeah, 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 if there's a chance that somebody's going to come down and chase us down and stop me from winning the race, I don't want you in my vehicle. <sighs> but he still needs a patient. Didn't get Pamela at the start, because there is that kind of moment between them, isn't there? They yeah, go, then where do we put Pamela? Well, that's the thing, it's, it, we're not gonna, it's not going to happen, but we just throw that in there as a bit of drama. Uh-huh. Because obviously Victor hearing that, he's going to want to help them. Uh-huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I, my question is silly because in the original, in, in the movie originally, she was with Foyt. So because she doesn't get picked up, she's with Foyt then. Yes. And Foyt is at the roadblock. It's his roadblock. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's she's why. there. So she is there. Yes. Yeah. So he can point at her and go, maybe she'd be a, be a better passenger than you, or something like yes. that. Yes. So, we, like you say, we can put the tension. We can put the idea on the board. But ultimately. Ultimately, it it's just... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, no, that sounds interesting. Uh, but I feel I like... I know how we do it, I know how we do it. Sorry, didn't mean to stop you there, just nope. had an idea. Yeah, so they get the exposition. We then get a... Uh, 
we get this bit obviously with JJ and Pamela and then he comes back and then him and Victor have a conversation uh, you know I don't want them blah 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 Trish overhears that and jumps in the driver's seat of the ambulance so they have to then dive into the ambulance or get left behind oh 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 take it yes I love it that's that's great then that brings us up to our perfect moment because we've waited long enough the creeper needs to turn up we're doing this now at the end of act two uh, I mean, we have to we have to yes because we've we, done we could because movie uh no, but no, I agree. There's a bla- there's a van that needs blowing up w- w- regardless. So something has to happen. And it feels like the pressure of some ungodly being coming up the road behind you mm-hmm. would be exactly the sort of thing that would get a lot of racers to do some reckless stuff to get past the roadblock. Too right. Yeah, that makes Because I'm figuring, sorry, I should have said it, even if nobody else does, that we should at least have the rednecks listening in on the conversation. Oh, okay. So they're like, oh, jeez, that sounds real bad. So the only problem with that is that because Derry was with them. Yeah, 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 I know, but it, I'm talking about listening to the story about the thing. No, I'm no, just no, thinking it, it might be no, enough no, to works, get them works, to take it seriously. It works, doesn't it? Because when they all slow down for the roadblock, mm-hmm. Derry's in the van, he spots the ambulance up ahead, knowing Trish is in it, so gets out earlier. Yeah, that's, I, I said that and earlier. We, oh, sorry. We start with the two you were reunited. Yes. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. we have Giselle come with the exposition and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah, kind of skipped over that bit. I just needed to... Yeah. Get it straight. Yeah, yes. nope. that's fantastic. Okay. So they come, yes, and because they know what it is when they see the thing, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. That causes them to run off the road. Uh-huh. So what's the creeper going to do at this point then? Is he just going to plough through and go after them, or is he going to start... There's two ways this can go, but to be honest, one of the ways I see it going could be a movie breaker. Either everything kind of stays as it is, and they're kind of trapped, and the creeper turns up, Mm-hmm. in which case we have some kind of en masse encounter where everybody sees it and probably a lot of people get hurt. Or everybody gets the hint from various people trying to run the blockade that something bad is about to happen and they all charge the blockade, leaving the creeper to try and come through. So we get Then we our... have a confrontation with the cops. Yes. And possibly bad something bad happening to Foyt. Mm-hmm. If depending, I mean, because at this point, he's just a foil. Yeah. I mean, how much do we care about him? We don't really need him for the third act. No, we don't. I like that. Well, then what I would suggest is one alteration then to that scene. It takes place at night. So the creeper's got cover of darkness to add. So we still get that creep factor in there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's no problem. Because then he can be flying around and people are looking around trying to spot him and things like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 And again, so it keeps that air of, it gives him a certain air of mystery still. Yeah. Rather than we just see him as he is in, in, in broad daylight. And also he'd be much more likely to do something if it was because he's got the cover of night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I like the second one. Take it. Oh, okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I think the second one works better. Because, yes, everybody was going to use this as an opportunity to get the shit out of it. Yeah, so the race keeps moving, Yeah, but the creeper is stopped temporarily by having mm. to deal with the cops. Okay, that works. We're going to potentially lose Mr. Foyt at this point. Yeah, I, I don't see why not. I didn't, you know, he he's clearly set up as a dickhead. Yes. And if you think about it, he's just there to show up being disappointed at the end of the, end of the race. Yeah. At this point, he's not really doing much. No, no, exactly. The roadblock is his big moment. That makes sense. And then after that, he starts losing relevance as a character. So we can we can lose him anytime we want it. And I feel like adding a little more carnage candy to this. He wants his hair or something. <laughs> he's got white hair. The creeper's got white hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about Pamela? Are we going to lose her at this point as well? Dealer's choice. Mm, again, she doesn't really serve any other purpose. No, we kind of eliminated any real person of purpose she's had. He doesn't want his hair. He wants her hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he tries to defend her. Yeah, take it. Take it. That's nice. Lovely. And while she while he's trying to defend her, she doesn't care. She's wandered off into the trees. Yeah. <laughs> and all the races that are there use the opportunity, as we say, to get through and That's our end of act. <sighs> okay, it feels like we are cooking with gas we want to make a couple of decisions before we move on first of all is do we intend to finish the race oh that's a good point because obviously that'll change how we play out the action in between part of me says it's kind of written in the title if you know what i mean Mm. it is it is the purpose of the story even though i know we're telling a different story but the, the race is a huge part of that story and to not finish it feels a little cheap yes i think we should finish the race but I think we're going to have to... Well, I think we're about to find out who actually makes it to the end. Okay. I think that's probably the best answer I can give give to that one. That did actually make me think of something else, and I've forgotten what it is now. Oh, yeah, that was it. Sorry, I never actually said at the start what we're going to call this damn thing. 
Oh. <laughs> so it's either the Cannonball Creeper or all Creepers Run, I suppose. I think the Cannonball Creeper sounds... The Cannonball Creeper, is that, that sounds, that's the movie yeah. we're making. Yeah. yeah, that does sound like it's the movie we're making. So where had we got to? So Roadblock... So it's the end of the Roadblock, so uh, everything immediately afterwards is people moving on. In the original movie, we have the scene I call Shake Shack, uh, with the shake going to the fast food restaurant to get a bunch of falafel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We kind of forgot about him, but then again... Oh, yeah, no, he had movement in his car. Never mind. Then we have... Everybody getting to the desert. Girls getting stopped by the girl cop. Seymour slipping away with his secret gadget. So what we can do with some of these scenes, just straight up replace them being pulled over by the cops by them having to encounter the creeper. Okay, okay. Who who are we going to pick on? Because there's a bit of a break between those. I think we go with the shake first. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not explicit in the Cannibal Run because it's PG, but uh, there's the implication that potentially his escorts could be armed, Mm -hmm. create a bit more more of a scene, or we could just have a straight-up massacre. Yeah, let's say that after that bit where they they stop at the takeaway and they drive off, should we say that they drive into him and they kind of, uh, there's a crash right outside the takeaway? I don't know. If we keep it relatively simple, like they're just pulling out of the fast food restaurant and as they're pulling out into the road, beating you just slams past and plows through their front end without even slowing. Okay. Okay. So it just destroys their car's engine, just... Bang. Fair enough. I mean, I don't know. Do you? I mean, I feel like taking people out of the race is what we're doing here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I mean, then, as we mentioned at the start, mm. you know, there should be an opportunity for him to stop and sniff around for anything else that he wants. I know we've already given him a couple of things. <laughs> it's lifting a little bit from from Halloween here. Jamie Farr jumps out the car and blah, starts shouting and screaming at him, and he just slams on the brakes. Speed kill. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then just sits there revving the engine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go on. Um, Do you think he's going to reverse up, or is it just going to be a moment of him being unnerved by the engine, you know, just like sitting there? Or I, I feel like I want to have him reverse because that's like a definitive action. That's it, yeah. So he's, and because, yeah, because the, the Sheik is so used to having people at his beck and call, come back here! Yeah. And he does. He does, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And opens the door, and they're like, <gasps> and you see his guys start going for their guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe we just cut away to something else. We don't see what happens, or do we want to see what happens? Uh, well, you were saying about the sniffing, so I think we should cut away. Mm-hmm. And when we cut back, the bodyguards are lying on the floor, somewhat mangled, and he's crouched up against the car, going <gasps> as it sniffs his face and ears. As, it, sort as of he's thing. taking his um, the, the headscarf, sniffing the headscarf, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. We don't have to show the whole thing, we just no, gotta no, give no. the impression. Just, just the impression that something has happened. Yeah. Uh Storm. Storm. I got Storm for some reason. Don't know what I was talking what that's about. Next there thing. is a there is a storm, isn't there? I'm sure. Oh, there's... there was some rain. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what I put down there. All right, yeah. And then uh we have Captain Chaos's origin story. We can still have that if we allow because they almost hijacked the the ambulance. Yeah, I was going to say, she's kidnapped them, sort of. Yeah. We've got an opportunity to change the dynamic in the cup. And we've already established that uh, Victor is very is, is, gonna, is very much going to want to help them. Yes, he's a do-writer. Yes. Behind the green door. I've got behind the green door. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, Jackie blue movies. I've yes. called it blue movies. It's, yes. it's uh, yeah, yeah. Jackie Chan watching blue movies yeah. in the car. So uh, we've got to have Seymour being chased by the creeper. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the Aston Martin. Uh huh, yeah, okay. So we're going to have him doing what he does in the film and using his little grease trap? Yeah, and things like that. Because, like, we haven't utilised his wings yet, so maybe we should have the creeper spin out and totally wreck his truck mm-hmm. and then fly out of the wreckage. Third act, baby. Yeah. And it seems you. appropriate that it should be the that it should be Roger Moore that does that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh my God, I said, how about this? Yeah, so the wings come out, he flies over, lands on the Aston Martin, punches through the roof. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Grabs hold of whoever's in the passenger seat. It's random girl number six at this point, I exactly. think. Exactly. So Seymour panics and hits the ejector seat. Yes! <laughs> yeah? Yes. So he ejects her and obviously drags the, 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 the creeper away so that he can floor it and try and get away. But the question is, does he get away? Mm, mm, mm. Popular cat. Not that one, darling, please. We don't want you leaving so shortly. I don't know, because Seymour is smug. Kind of want to feel him taking down a peg. The problem is, is taking him down a peg is quite severe in this story. It is, yes. Do we want to do that, do you think? I know I'm being quite cavalier with our characters' lives here, but uh, it's that kind of movie. I don't know. I, I like the idea of him at least getting a moment where he can 
he can step into the other role that he plays. Okay, okay. Under duress. So what I was thinking is, so we get the bit with the, with the ejector seat, he floors it, the creeper flies off, mm-hmm. comes back and lands on the road in front of him. Headlights go down, machine guns come out. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah. Why not? We're but we've got to. But I think again because it's the Cannibal Run, it should be something else. So it's like paintballs, or like like the little pellets that you get, like in an air gun or something. Or BBs. Not, yeah, BBs or something like that. Yeah. Something All right. Like I, BBs. Be, I think. Yeah, would be more appropriate to nineteen eighty four. You think? Yeah. Nineteen eighty four, but also the thing they've set up with the character like his with his fake bang bang gun. Exactly. Yeah. So he kind of gets to be all smug and he does the thing, and then brrr, just gets covered in. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the creepers just like. Oh. Yeah, it's too early for paintball. Nineteen eighty four yes. is too early for paintball, yeah, but isn't. BB guns have been around forever. Drives at him for firing the things, and he's just stood there. And then again, if we want to, we can cut away, or... I think we should cut away. Yeah. Like you said, this is the Cannibal Run. I've been, I've been carnage, car, 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 carnage candying quite a bit here. We need to rein it in a little bit, because otherwise the ending's just going to get really awkward. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's going to be awkward anyway. Yeah. It is a delicate balance, though, isn't it? I think mm. we've been learning with these ones where it's kind of comedy and horror. You want to do justice to both, but you don't want one... If you go too far one way, bloodbath. Yeah. If you go too far the other way, then it's Scooby-Doo. Sykes! Yeah, exactly. And it's yeah. kind of finding that middle Somewhere ground. in the middle, yeah. yeah. No breaks. That's where I've got... That is a scene that's not going to happen, because that involves dead characters. Yes, it does. That's Mad Dog and his buddy going that's off-road it. when they realise their, rake, their breaks have failed the, um, so we're coming very quickly up to the roadworks and that's that's it the next scene is roadworks obviously we can play this however we want but I because like this is the bit that obviously goes into the big fight with the bikers in the original yes. movie but we've kind of had that with a uh, earlier on at the roadblock we had our big kind of candy moment we did but not because most of the dra- races got away from that so this is a moment for them yeah uh, I, th- I think we should still have it this is again this is one of those moments because all the bits that we've done, mm. it's been the odd driver have seen the creeper and they've normally come out the worst for it. Mm-hmm. This is probably the last time we'll get in the film for everyone to see him because they're all at the same place. Yeah. Outside outside of their vehicles. Well, I mean, at, at, at this point, I think we're, we're nearing the end of some people's story. Yes, absolutely. If we can continue on to anything that might ca- kind of be a pleasant ending. Yeah. We need to do certain things now. This was something I was thinking of from the start. Depending on how we do it, if we still get the fight with with Peter Fonda, oh, is that who the biker was? I didn't yeah. recognise him. Yeah, 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 because of uh, Easy Rider, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Yeah, we still get that, so we still get Captain Chaos. The Creeper turns up, but Captain Chaos isn't enough to stop the Creeper, which is why later on, towards the end, we get Captain USA. Okay, so all he right. Has get, he has to have a power up. <laughs> to be oh, able to take him on. all right. Okay, so we justify that joke at the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, no, um, no, have it. Oh, have yes. it. Well, you just created a character moment. Fantastic. It may be for the sake of comedy, but it's still a character moment. In 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 the, in the interests of melding these together, it's another one that should really take place at night or at nightfall. I reckon that's not even a because movie. We this is all about shooting schedules, as far as we're concerned. Exactly, exactly. But yes, yeah, so we get that bit there. We get the fight, and then in amongst the fight, just this thing fly lands down. Yep. In in the midst of the fight, mm-hmm. the creeper lands, wings displayed, and everything. So again, we can even have a fight. That I take it, we will get a moment because Jackie's going to want to have. A go well, at if that. if we're going to have the creeper interrupt this mass paga we might as well have a mass paga against the creeper we might as well go for it have a jackie chan moment as well of course everybody has a go <laughs> yeah how do we want to do this do we just want to have him grab Darry in the midst of things that he just eventually gets to Darry, or do we want to have him beat down the other fight the creeper beat down the other fighters or potentially kill them how do we end this because you know it, it, it ends with him flying away i'm assuming yeah. with Darry. Or this could be another one. I know we kind of did it earlier, but this could be another moment because Jackie Chan goes back, doesn't he? That he he's the last one to go. Uh-huh. They're slowing him, but they can't stop him. And then the roads open. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to point out to you because what I was saying about doing certain things at a certain point. Once the roads open, that's the end of the race. That's what I'm thinking. That. So I mean, because I, mean, I don't know whether. Because then you're going to have the triumphant moment, <laughs> offset by what's going to happen. That's 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 why I was saying it should happen now. I see. To give the movie time to breathe and get, pick up its mood for the ending. Or we go for the dark ending. I mean, we can go for the dark ending, but it will punch the air out of the triumph of the, the winning of the, the race, race scene. Yeah. I mean, we've got a movie either way. 
we've got a movie this is definitely a movie i feel like we should give the film an opportunity to breathe and pick up its mood after the dark fate of Darry. Mm, possibly a third option that they're chasing the creeper to the end yeah. of the race uh, well no not that what some people will go off to finish off the race but somebody goes after the creeper and then we follow that story probably captain chaos jumps into the ambulance because he seems to be able to drive faster than everybody else okay all right. And he goes, I, I, I will save you! And drives off after the creeper. Right. And then we have to decide which... Again, yeah, I was going to say, where, where, where do we go from that, though? Again, that's, that's the... We could do that, but I don't know what comes next. Exactly, and the movie's about to end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. My vote is for just simply doing it now. I mean, we could do it that the, that the creeper is flying in the direction of the end of the race mm. so that they are both chasing him, trying to get Darry back and essentially completing the race, but that's still delaying J- Darry's fate towards the end of the movie, which, again, it's a downer beat on what should be a triumphant moment. Oh, that's a difficult one. That is a difficult one. Unless we want to allow that Darry survives. OK. I mean, how do we do that, then? Actually, you know, it's 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 even it's even written into the the plot. Giselle says once he smells something he likes, he yeah. won't stop. He can't stop. It's it's nuts. It is absolutely nuts. But it might just work. But it needs something else. So the creeper grabs him, flies off. As you say, I like the idea that he's going in the same direction as them. Mm-hmm. So they're chasing them. Jackie Chan and his mate jump back in the car and start catching the others up because they've got the um, souped-up Subaru. In between them on the CB radios, they go, well, we've got to save him, we've got to, see, you know, we've got to try and save him. You're, you've got Captain Chaos going, we need to do something, we need to save the boy or whatever. Uh-huh. As is always the case in an 80s film, there just happens to be something with a ramp on it. They can use the rocket on the Subaru to launch into the air Mm-hmm. They hit the creeper, so he drops Darry. Okay, and then they have to pick him up. Or I was hoping, ideally, he'd land in one of the other vehicles. Would be the set piece. R- right. Okay. Okay. Or if not, he lands, maybe breaks his leg. So now they've got a genuine patient in the ambulance. Okay, that works on some level. What, what about the creep? Uh, well, he's unless just, unless well, he's because just been, movie is that the creeper can be stopped. Because it's it's fundamental to the law of the creeper that he yes. can't be stopped. He can't be killed. He can be disabled temporarily, but he can't be killed, according to the proper law. Right. So I don't think it is because... Well, it depends. It's not a because maybe because we've only got to incapacitate him until the end of the film. I suppose, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we could even and throw being, in a stinger if we wanted. And, you know, and, and being hit by a flying Subaru is going to do some serious damage. All right, okay, okay, all right. I'll buy that for a dollar. We have our lovely triumphant moment. Wonderful little set piece. Right up there with the era. So then we move on to our happy, happy ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we finish up the race. We have our beautiful scene at the end. We can finish it up and we can add our own details into the end. Instead of um, Captain Chaos running off on the foot race, we could say that quite nearby to where the race ends... There's a medical centre, so he picks up Derry to carry him to the medical centre. Okay, yeah, 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 that's so nice So we still touch. get the same yeah. thing, but it's still meshing yeah. the two together. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rather yeah. than that, running... That and then, works. What's the name? Uh, I've forgotten her name. Thingy Barbeau, isn't it? Adrian Barbeau. Yes. I, uh, I think she's Marcy? I, I never caught the name, top three. I, I am DB'd a number of names. I think she was the one called Marcy, but obviously they're, they're the hot suit girls. Which is, again, it was the first time I've watched that film and realised and recognised who that is, because obviously because of the mm. fog and oh, everything Oh, no, it reminded me, because I remember when I noticed how much she was in John Carpenter films, mm. I knew her. She was one of those people. Oh, I know her, it's always her. Because when I saw this was long before I saw any John Carpenters, so... I mean, because there was this and there was the uh, there was this and there was Escape from New York. Yeah, of course. Which, of course... I didn't know that, you know, that's more sci-fi than horror, so I didn't. Yeah. So, yes, so he goes off and does that. Oh, yes. That's it, isn't it? What? We get our little bit 
at the end with the with the end of the race. Yeah, at the end of the race. Those who are still alive arrive. Are we saying that Seymour got out of it? I, I think Seymour's battered, but okay. Yeah, the, it, uh, it sort of fits with his character. The, the Aston Martin is trashed. The, oh, yeah. Panels missing. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper uh, Blues Brothers ending, you know, <laughs> yes. rolling in and then falling apart over the, the, the line and stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. So we get that. We then get them going to check on Derry in the hospital and he's not there. And the window smashed. Oh, okay. All right, that's interesting. We'll have to have a vote for this because my version was because it, it allowed us to include a shot from the original movie. Okay. You know the bit when they run him over and run him over and run him over and he's mangled on the floor. And, yeah. And then the, the wing, wing falls out. Yeah. And I just thought, be all that, you know, happy ending, everybody, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it just cuts to out on a desert road, the crumpled form on the highway. I like that better. Yeah. yeah, 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 I think that's better. Because the other thing I was going to say about mine is they go back over and they find that he's not there and the window's missing, and that's where we get Captain Chaos. This is too much for Captain Chaos, it's time for Captain USA. And then it's like he's going to go off oh. on the mission. See, I was, I thought he was going to do that before he carried Derry to the hospital. I think that's what I was assuming. Let's do it that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we'd already had the moment when he knew that Captain Chaos wasn't good enough. Yeah. So it's like he reaches the end of, and, and, uh, and JJ takes the mask off him and this is ridiculous. Ah, I knew that... Captain Chaos isn't good enough. We need Captain USA. Come on, Darren. <laughs> yes, fantastic. But that's also nice as well. Again, just very briefly jumping back into into that end fight, you know, between them. Obviously, the only the only person who seems to do any kind of harm to him is Captain Chaos. He does aggravated damage with his punches. Yes, I think he does. <laughs> yeah. Well, you look at what he does in the biker fight. Yeah, I know. And you know, he rips down the ceiling and throws people through windows and all yeah. kinds of crap. And it's like, yeah, okay, go, Dom, go. Because it's probably going to be a sort of quite a gritty fight. Grabs one of the motorbikes and. Hits the creeper with them and picks up the motor, like swings in. With, oh, yeah! Yeah, things like that. You know, we can go. go we, you go really yeah. cartoony with it. Yeah, but that brings us to, to the end. Yeah, we have a movie. I was a little worried about this at the beginning. So, I wasn't sure we were going to break it, but I wasn't sure we were going to make a very good movie. But actually. We're going to do what we normally do. Mm. Two seconds, and we'll be back to um, sum this all up. Hmm, fuck me, we're back already. <laughs> Isn't that so quick, folks? Oh, well, I managed to get six. Uh, I have five, so I guess I'm going first. Mm -hmm. Well, you kind of already heard it. Third act pulled it out of the uh, out of the fire for me. I wasn't sure. I mean, I knew it was an okay movie, but I think our third act made something genuinely worth watching there. Absolutely. Um, so it has my vote. Yes, and I'm I'm, I'm with you 100 percent with that as well. As with always with this, this <laughs> is our brainstorming session. You know, so this is not you know, before we even get to first draft. Subsequent drafts, we could then go back and like, act one and things like that. Yes, yeah, tighten to, up the dialogue and things. Yeah. Exactly, just to keep people hooked so that they are still watching by the time we, we get to act three. Yeah, you know. yeah, absolutely. But no, absolutely. I think that's that is fantastic. That's thank you, Rob, for the suggestion. Yeah. Um, obviously, please do let us know in the comments below if there's anything that you'd have done differently, and maybe sometime. Look, we have sofas. Come and join us. <laughs> so, as always, now it is over to you guys to have your say. Do you think what we've done here today would qualify as a maybe movie? Is it something that you'd like to see made and go and pay money to go and watch in the cinema? Uh, if so, then vote yes. And if you think we're just wasting our time and yours, then vote no. It's as simple as that, folks, really. Yeah, as always, it'll be running in all the usual places, on the community tab here on YouTube, on our pinned post on Twitter X, and on our Instagram story as well. I'll keep these running up until the middle of next week, and then at our first episode in December, we will announce whether or not we have a winner. Indeed. And of course, don't forget, do come back and join us in December for a chance to win a cushion. Soft. And strokeable. I thought you were going to say and strong and very, very long. <laughs> no, I wasn't, uh, but I should have. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you very much. Please come back and join us uh, next week for whatever comes out. And until the next time, look after yourselves and one another, and we'll see you soon. As always, guys, TTFN. Ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-